Hello everyone. In the previous session, I have explained you about uh, generation of alternating quantity and what is the importance of considering a sinusoidal waveform as an alternating quantity. And uh, so I have solved a few problems based on uh, instantaneous equation which we have generated in alternating quantity. Okay. So, in this session, I will be deriving two equations uh, which are related to alternating quantity and those two equations are RMS value and average value. So, these two are the very very important uh, derivation or important equations okay, to represent alternating quantity. Now I will be deriving expression that is RMS value and we also call it as root mean square value. Okay, RMS stands for root mean square value and RMS value is also known as effective value as it gives heating effect okay, as it gives heating effect when the alternating current passes through a conductor. Okay, remember this RMS value is an effective value. Okay, so effective value and as it gives the heating effect when the alternating current passes through a conductor. Okay, and this RMS value is, an, is a DC equivalent value of alternating quantity. Remember, it is a DC equivalent value of an alternating quantity. Okay, uh, let's see how we can derive this expression. Right, and you know the alternating quantity, how we can represent alternating quantity. So, considering this alternating quantity as that is alternating quantity as AC, that means alternating current, and we represent it as I is equal to I m sin omega t. As we have derived this equation in the generation of alternating quantity, so we get instantaneous current, so that we represent it in small i is equal to I m, which is the peak value or the maximum current sin omega t okay and so here we consider because since we have the root mean square so root mean square means we express this uh, i rms in terms of the square root of okay so since we have root here so we have square root of so this portion that is area of one half cycle divided by length of half cycle is nothing but the average value of a squared current right so this irms can be expressed as it is a square root of and this part we consider it as average or the mean value of a squared current okay so since we consider the average value of a squared current so we need to have another waveform that is in squared form so if we just square this alternating quantity so what we are going to get so we get again this becomes i square so where i square can be expressed as i m square sin square omega t okay so when we have negative value so when we have negative alternating quantity and when we square it so it becomes positive so this can be expressed as i square is equal to i m square sin square omega t so look at the waveform here okay so this waveform is nothing but i square equation and this waveform is i equation instantaneous current Okay, and now we are finding out the area, area of one half cycle. We consider only one half cycle here. So, that is 0 to pi and area. So, here I can just consider area over here. Now, so what we can substitute in this equation, I RMS is equal to, I RMS is equal to, as I have already explained you, so we have, so I RMS is nothing but again a square root of or the root of so mean of the squared current okay okay area of one half cycle means it is i square okay so here because we are considering the squared current so since we have taken the squared current here we are substituting i square into d theta so we need to integrate because it is area and divided by length of half cycle length of half cycle is which is 0 to pi so we can substitute this as pi and in the next step you can see so we have 0 to pi and divided by again pi and we are integrating with respect to theta so we need to simplify this expression and further if we simplify this expression so we get so square root of 
So since i m square is a constant one, i m square and pi, I am just taking out of the integral, then we need to integrate sin square theta into d theta. And so here i m square pi and so if we integrate this expression with respect to d theta so before that we need to convert, convert sin square theta into cos theta which is 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 into d theta and here if we integrate this expression with respect to theta so we will be getting this equation and so and we need to apply the limit 0 to pi and if we apply the limit 0 to pi and here this will be replaced as pi and so this becomes 0 if we substitute pi that is sin 2 pi becomes 0 and in the next equation you can see so we get only pi and where the next term becomes 0 so i m square by 2 pi into pi minus 0 and pi pi gets cancelled. So, here you get square root of i m square by 2. So, in the last expression you can see i rms is equal to i m by root 2. Next we have average value and this average value uh, is an arithmetic value of an alternating quantity. Okay, And uh, so this equation can be obtained by taking the average of the instantaneous value or a period of half cycle. So you can see in this alternating quantity, so here we are just considering instantaneous equation which is i is equal to i m sin omega t where omega t is equal to theta. Okay, So here we are just finding out the average value. So, how we can obtain this equation that is by taking the average value of the instantaneous current instant and I average can be expressed as that is average current can be expressed in the form of equation as I average is equal to area under half cycle. So, divided by length of half cycle. So, here we do not consider the root because it is just an average value. So, to find the average value area under half cycle. So, what is the area under this half cycle which is i and so we have integrals this is 0 to pi because we are taking only one half cycle. So, i into d theta so divided by divided by we have so length of half cycle length of half cycle is pi. Okay. So, we need to simplify this expression. So, if we further simplify this expression so we get 0 to pi where i is equal to i m sin theta into d theta so divided by pi ok in the next part so we can have this 1 by pi and so we need to integrate this expression and take this i m out of the integral since it is constant so this becomes sin theta becomes minus cos theta and so apply the limit 0 to pi ok so 0 and pi and in the next step we get i m by pi and this becomes so if we substitute here like cos pi becomes okay so you can have minus cos pi minus minus of this minus so plus cos 0 Okay. In the next expression i average is equal to i m by pi and minus cos pi. So, minus of minus 1 which is plus 1 plus cos 0 is 1 and finally we get i average is equal to 2 i m by pi. Okay. Since these two are the very very important uh, uh, derivations you need to remember i r m s value and i average value. So, i r m s is equal to i r m s is equal to i m by root 2 and i average value is 2 i m by pi. Okay, so, next based on uh, the equation which we have derived like r m s value and uh, average value. So, we are going to define two more factors. We call it as form factor and this will be denoted as k suffix f and another one is peak factor and this will be denoted as k suffix p.
okay this form factor can be defined as so it is a ratio of the rms value to the average value so form factor which is kf so it is defined as the ratio of rms value to the average value so what is rms value which we have derived in the expression that is im by root 2 so then average value is 2 im by pi so if you simplify this expression so im im gets cancelled so finally you get one okay so we get 1.11 so remember we always remember it is a constant value form factor is always 1.11 and similarly so we have peak factor so peak factor can be expressed as or it is defined as a ratio of the maximum value to the rms value so maximum value is nothing but im that is the peak value peak value of the current so im divided by and rms value is im by root 2 and so im im gets cancelled so we get 1.414 so peak factor is always 1.414 so okay remember so we are going to use form factor and peak factor to derive many expressions okay so that is in the transformer chapter and in many chapters okay so let's see one example based on is rms value and average value so of course form factor and peak factor okay so in this given problem uh, what is the equation for a sinusoidal current of 25 hertz okay the frequency value is provided in the problem having an rms value of 40 ampere so rms value is given in the problem and initially we need to write okay equation instantaneous current equation so how we express instantaneous current equation which is i is equal to i m sin omega t so to write this expression so initially we need to find the maximum current okay maximum current and this omega so to calculate the omega so frequency is given so we can easily calculate omega and to calculate this peak value or the maximum value rms value is given so we can calculate the value of i m so and before we write this equation so we need to find out i m i m that means we know that i r m s is equal to i m by root 2 right i m by root 2 so what is i m then i m is equal to root 2 into i r m s so if we substitute the value of i r m s as 40 amperes so we will be getting i m is equal to 56.56 amperes okay so and once we find the value of maximum current then so we should calculate the value of omega so omega is equal to 2 pi f so where omega is equal to 2 into pi into which is 25 25 hertz so it is given in the problem so omega is equal to we get omega as 157 so now you need to substitute all the value to get the instantaneous current expression i is equal to 56.56 sin sin omega which is 157 t right so this is how we can uh, write the instantaneous current equation in the next step so we need to find out the form factor and peak factor so just now we have derived the form factor and peak factor and you know the definition of form factor which is kf is equal to rms value over average value so what is rms value here which is already given in the problem that is 40 divided by what is average value average value is 2 im by pi so 2 into and im is 56.56 divided by pi so 2 im by pi and if you simplify this expression so you will be getting 1.11 which is the standard value of form factor and similarly peak factor so peak factor is nothing but peak factor which is 
kp peak factor is maximum value that is im divided by im divided by that is the rms value which is im by root 2 so always you will be getting this as even if you substitute the value of im here anyways uh, since both the values im and im gets cancel always you will be getting 1.414 okay so how you can verify the value of kf that is form factor and peak factor so remember you will be getting always form factor as 1.11 and peak factor as 1.414 okay thank you